Tonight, there's a new effort in Denver to allow non-citizens to become police officers and firefighters. Some city council members want to change the city's charter to make it possible. Denver 7's Brandon Richard shows us why they believe this change is needed and where non-citizens are already serving in uniform. Should non-citizens be able to serve as Denver police officers and firefighters? Right now, Denver City Charter says anyone applying to become a police officer or firefighter must be a U.S. citizen. City Council President Jamie Torres says that limits the pool of applicants. We know that one of the things that, that our both departments have been struggling with is really getting really great qualified applicants through the door. Torres and Councilwoman Amanda Sandoval are developing a proposal that would change the city charter, allowing those without U.S. citizenship, such as DACA recipients who were brought to the U.S. as children, to serve as police officers and firefighters. What I think this means for, for DREAMers, for DACA recipients, for legal permanent residents, uh, that they get a chance at a really um, important, uh, meaningful job path. Torres says applicants would still have to meet other qualifications and go through the same process as everyone else. She says her proposal would not allow newly arrived migrants to apply. Um, the newest arrival immigrants, one, um, don't even have work authorization right now, but two, they wouldn't qualify under the language requirements. You have to be uh, fluent in English. Non-citizens can already serve in the Denver Sheriff's Department because of a 2016 settlement agreement with the U.S. Department of Justice. And last year, Colorado passed a law allowing DACA recipients to carry guns if they're hired by a local police department. Uh, this is another way that we can ensure that people who are already well-trained are able to use their skills to help keep our fellow Coloradans safe. Whether non-citizens serve as Denver police officers and firefighters would ultimately depend on voters. Anytime we change the charter, it's got to go before the voters. So it'll be a vote of the people to determine whether or not this changes. And those city council members say they plan on meeting with the police union and others to get their feedback on this proposal. And as always, any change to the city charter requires voter approval. In Denver, Brandon Richard, Denver 7.